Hey guys, the new ban list is finally out. We've been waiting for a long time, and um, yeah, I think on this screen right now you can definitely see a change. But I was quite surprised. My uh, my predictions were kind of wrong. I didn't expect it to turn out this way. I have to be honest. So let's kind of go through the lists, right? So first off, in standard, we did get that standard restriction. We got the Dark Strain Dragon to one and the Inlet Pulse and the Magnolia Elder Choice Restriction. This is exact the same thing from Japan, and I think it's fine. If you looked at all the stats, Magnolia has just been the absolute top dog of the entire format in Springfest. In Dark Strain Dragon, bit of a touch to Bastion, a deck that is probably very hard to balance simply because you go first and you just hit good numbers, your opponent can't do anything at all, and you just lose the game. It feels really, really bad, so I can see why they hit that Dark Strain Dragon. They want you to at least Play the order, which is a negative one, um, and I'll, to get that boost. Now, in V-Prem, though, we actually get the first change. I thought they would copy everything from Japan and then slap on something new. But that is not the case. For V-Prem, they only restricted Rosa. So things like Kokushigarasu is still around. Now, this is a good hit, right? This is a good hit. Rosa to zero. It is banned. Prism, finally... Uh, not as good as before. De definitely not as good. Probably not best deck in format anymore. And that, I think that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. The one thing I don't see is anything to Gurgit. Where is that Percival hit? It's not there. It's not there. So Percival is still out and about. I'll get back to this later on. The next thing, though, is kind of weird champ, I have to say. This is a premium hit. Um... So I'm going to start off with the right one. So Fabricated Dragon of Ruination to 1, right? This is a hit straight to Order Colony. Y if you want to run Order Colony now, you can still run Ruination, but it's at 1, so it's hyper inconsistent. Uh, and yeah, I don't think it's worth running, right? I, I think the deck is kind of not as, definitely not as good as before. It's a correct hit. Personally speaking, I think Order Colony as a whole is like, uh, mm, it's... It's, I personally think it's not the best deck in the format, but I can understand why it's so unfun to play against, and for the for an average player, you know, you, you have to, like, play specific. It's kind of like the Link Joker from before, except now, in premium, there's just so much more annoying things you have to worry about that it's just ridiculous. So, I can I can definitely see a hit to Order Colony just to make it less annoying, um, and I think that's fine. Ruination to one, sure, right? They just don't want to ban anything straight up, because that'd be pretty hard. And with premium collection out, hey... Maybe things change, right? But this choice restriction. This choice restriction, I feel like they totally missed the mark. So Nightmare Doll Alice with Masquerade Master Harry. That is a choice restriction. It means that if you run the Alice, you can't play the Harry. And guess what, boys and girls? Um, you run the Alice, right? Harry, no one cares. No one cares about Harry. That, that is pretty much it. Harry is your Link Joker out. So this is like a very subtle Link Joker buff. Except it doesn't really do anything. Um, the combo still works, right? The combo is still still easy. Now that Order Colony is, is out of the picture, uh, Nightmare Doll basically got the lightest slap on the wrist as possible. Um, so the deck is still best deck in format. That's it. Nothing much to say. Uh, there is one thing also that I want to point out. This is effective from July 22nd. So this is the day before BRO. So this will be active before BRO. We were kind of speculating, hey, you know, is this going to be legal for BRO? It's mightily close. It is. It is mightily close to BRO. And it is all these hits you have to be careful, especially the premium ones. I, I don't know. I actually, I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there, right? I think the V premium restriction is like, it's great, right? Rosa is great, although they didn't hit Gurgit. Um, I think it's not as bad as this, because because this choice restriction kind of makes me feel like they just didn't know what to hit at all, right? They're like, hey, I think Harry is pretty good. Um, let's, let, it's probably the key part of the deck, right? Let's, let's choice restriction now, the deck's gonna not, not be that good. Dude. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> This, I, I think this this one, this choice is a is a big L. But okay, let's kind of let's let's kind of put on a Copian mask on a bit, right? Let's put that on. Maybe they're thinking the premium collection would change something, which is also legal, right? So 
Uh, they're going, let's throw the even, the, the light, the lightest hit, right? The, the super light hit on Nightmare Doll because it's probably not best deck anymore, right? Let's, let's hit like, like 0.5%, right? Let's hit, let's hit that because other decks might outpace it now. We don't want to ban anything because it's hard to reverse a ban, right? Uh, we don't want to like restrict something to, to one and just like absolutely kill it out of the picture. Let's kind of see what happens in BRO uh, because, you know, it, it, Nine Metal might actually just not be the best deck in the flame. I, I don't I think it is, but yeah, we'll see in BRO the results there and then we'll figure it out for BCS later on. Um, and then they went to Autoclon and you go, man, people are quitting because they can't play the game of Autoclon. Let's just, let's just yeet this to negative one, right? So that's that's maybe the, the thought process. So come BCS, we might see a more harsher restriction. Uh, usually, you know, this is like the, the, the first warning, right? Well, I guess the first warning is like they, they put on the watch list. Then the second warning is like detention. This is detention, right, for Pale Moon. And then if it keeps on going uh, worse, it is, uh, it is the hammer. Which is a weird term for a suspension, but yeah, that's 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 probably what's gonna happen. Um, but why is the why is the V Premium one not as bad? So I'm gonna throw this out there. Uh, Gurgit, great deck, right? You draw your Percival, you kind of have a very good auto win right there, right? However, we've been playing in a Springfest format, and Springfest format uh, teams like the, the amount of rounds they're around like. Five rounds, six rounds for like AOEU, probably, all right? And then for NA, I think they reach maybe seven rounds sometimes. But I heard a lot of sixes as well. When you only have to draw your like Percival or hit your Percival like four games out of six to top, um, it's not that hard. But when you're entering BRO, where our BRO rounds are around seven round Swisses, eight round Swiss, I think maybe even nine for like America. Then you're gonna have to hit your Percival like six, seven times, and that's that's kind of not that great. That that, that that becomes slightly inconsistent, and we'll be looking at going. Hey, do I really want to play this deck into this format, or like like just maybe have a chance of totally bricking and like auto losing, or do I want to play a more consistent deck? Right. The thing with Prism is that this Prism is the most consistent deck in the format, so. It was pretty much like a no-brainer taking it's like like a long long format long, long tournament basically and this is going to be the same for bc uh bcs as well we're going to be looking at six seven round tournaments and probably for america eight because they just get that, that many people right times it's, it's just way more you're not a team right you times the attendance by like three pretty much yeah um but that that raises a good question on do i want to bring a more inconsistent deck Again, like the Japanese tops as well, don't forget, they also run at low round times because they cut at X0, so they have like four or five rounds of Swiss. Um, so I think this is a good question to kind of ask. And even if everyone brings the uh, the the Gurgit, then it also makes the format very, very easy to read. All right, so you can play much more hard counters uh, compared to everything Compared to if like go 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 bad, so so it's it's technically like an advantage for some players, right? Some players, go go overall I feel is less oppressive than um than Rosa, well not Rosa, and then than Prism in some ways, just because Prism grinds a long time, draws a billion cards, and then you lose. And then there's also some weaknesses you can exploit with go I think compared to just Prism. Um, but yeah, I think it would have been nice if they hit like the Percival or they hit the go in some way, but I think the V Prem one is is still okay, right? It's still okay, it's not the best, right? It's still not the best, it's still okay. Uh, and people talking about if there needs to be like a Luard hit or anything like that, well, you know, guess what? Clan Collection, I don't think is out by then, right? I think Clan Collection comes out like way later. So we don't need to worry about that. For BRO, it is only gonna be, it's gonna be a very boring format, which is kind of a bit sad to say, but it is what it is, yeah? It is what it is, so. I think I think the, the V one is okay, right? I think the it's not the best, but it's okay. Uh, we can deal with it. The Prem one, eh, I think they could have done better. I think they definitely could have done better. If this was like a, I don't want to rate it out of ten. I don't want to rate this list out of ten. It's just like this one. This this choice restriction really doesn't do anything. This 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 pale moon choice restriction really doesn't do anything. That's that's the thing. So. 
Maybe maybe we just give it like a like a five out of ten. I'm gonna we'll give it a fifty percent because basically half half the restrictions have been pretty good, right? Half of this, right? We, they got one, but they didn't get the other. Like like my my prediction was was basically two each format. They got fifty percent of it, so yeah, they got the Rosa, didn't get the Gurgit. Then they got the Order Colony, but didn't really get the the Pale Moon. So it is what it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this could have been actually just worse because they could have just not hit anything. Um, hitting, hitting the unfun deck was definitely a plus. Hitting the, uh, hitting the, the prism is definitely a plus. Um, and I, that's it. That's it. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. I've got to go watch Thor. So, bye-bye.